Good evening, everyone. How are you doing on this beautiful Saturday evening? In today's video, I wanted to show you how to mow a lawn professionally from start to finish. This video is going to be oddly satisfying to some people and to others. It's probably going to put you to sleep. And I'll be honest with you guys, myself personally, uh, I've found it very easy to fall asleep to the sound of a, a lawnmower cutting grass. The first thing we like to do is a perimeter pass with the mower and what this does is it will minimize and also show the person trimming what to trim and make it so that they don't have to trim as much so making us as efficient as possible. see me reach down and close the quick shoot and I'll tell you what guys this is a tool that every professional should have it stops me from spraying basically that ornamental rock there in the lawn and just putting wet grass all over it making it look super nasty definitely recommend a quick shoot blocker for any mower <laughs> this row of trees and little bushes here this is the property line and what I like to do and what minimizes any kind of neighbors being upset or anything like that is going right down the property line and just blowing the majority of the leaves on that side of the property back onto our customer side just so it takes care of the majority of them and it stops the customer's neighbor from coming out and being upset thinking that we're trying to make a mess on purpose on their property <laughs>
little professional tip here for the guys and gals that don't know and maybe a homeowner watching this video on a zero turn mower the inside wheel if you notice i'm staring at it that's because a lot of times whenever the outside wheel's turning the inside wheel wants to drag so you got to really pay attention to that inside wheel and make sure you're just giving it a little bit more attention make sure it's moving along with the outside wheel just so you don't rip the sod there and tear up around the tree ring So if you remember back when I did the perimeter passes, I did two around the front of this property. And if you notice right here when I close it, you'll see a few leaves shooting in there. I did two perimeter passes around the front because I don't want those grass clippings that build up when I close the quick shoot to disperse into the mulch bed and make more of a mess that we have to clean up later on. So right here as I approach the mulch bed, you'll notice I start my turn. And simply guys, as a professional, we want to get as close to the perimeter as we possibly can. And that's just so we minimize the hooks at the end of our stripes. And now you can get rid of those once you're done completely striping the property just by simply doing another perimeter pass, which I will do. We just don't want those hooks at the end of our stripes. <laughs>
another little quick tip for you here pay close attention i'm coming down through here see if i had the quick shoot open i'd be spraying all this grass into the driveway so what i'm gonna do is keep it closed and turn on the lawn and then right there i opened it up once i turned back into my next pass so that i distributed all of those grass clippings that were built up back into the lawn and then cut them on in Right, guys so hope you enjoyed this lazy saturday evening we got ribs on the smoker got some friends coming over a bit later i'm gonna enjoy a nice warm cup of coffee and i hope you guys enjoyed this probably oddly satisfying or what do they call it asmir asmr video <laughs> and i hope you get some great sleep guys we'll see you tomorrow as always keep mowing keep growing keep making money boys talk to you later take you out let's take one more peek